Daniel DK here backstage at Psycho Vegas 2022, and I've just witnessed history, merciful fate, back on U.S. soil for the first time in 23 years. I'm here with the king, man. What does it feel like to be back? It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Uh, amazing crowd. I, I tell you one thing, it was, uh, it felt like South America. And South America, I, I've never felt that in America before, you know, in the U.S., uh, but it was so over the top in an amazing way. I mean, they were so loud, they were so into it. It was, couldn't have asked for a better return. Yeah, it, I could tell the band was incredibly enthusiastic and grateful. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Le leading up to the show, I'd heard you say that, no, this isn't a reunion. We are, we are truly picking oh, yeah, up where not, we left yeah. off and that's what it feels like. Yeah, but it's absolutely not uh, a reunion, you know. I mean, it's, uh, we, we picked up where we stopped in 99. Uh, it was the same lineup except for we wanted Timmy Hansen back on the bass, who, who oh yeah, who got uh, who got sick, you know, and uh, we, we tried and he felt better. Then it got worse, and uh, we actually uh, started looking for a, a stand-in for Timmy uh, in case he couldn't do full shows, and that uh, was uh, Joey Vero. Mm -hmm. Timmy wanted that, and I was totally in on that too. I mean, I saw Joey with with face warning and. Uh, there was, there was no doubt in our minds. Uh, and Timmy like really, really felt that was the right thing, you know. And at some point, Timmy got really uh, worse really fast, you know. And um, um, uh, we, we played in Copenhagen, Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Uh, Joey got a chance to meet Timmy's daughter, which mm -hmm. was really, really nice, you know, and could get her blessing too for, for doing what we're doing, you know. Otherwise, it's the nine lineup, you know. and. Uh, so, so that's that's the only thing that changed uh, is the bass. And uh, I mean, Timmy's Timmy Spear is definitely with you guys oh. on stage, and Joey's doing an incredible job. And his finger, you know, I mean, that that had to do with the two that we asked Timmy to come back. We were, we knew we were going to play all the old songs. Yes, that's how we wanted to start. Just play all the old stuff. Uh, back to the finger picking on the bass guitar. You know, that's a certain sound. Uh, we wanted to try and maintain that from back then. You know. Yes. And uh, the new song, I mean, we writing we're writing for a full album you know we're also writing for a full king diamond album at the same time so um but of course merciful fate the we can't just start with a normal song i don't know why it's it's crazy but me and hank are writing the same way as we did back then uh, i will be writing some of my own songs but we started out with hank writing music and in the old days i would get it i would have a big scalpel you know and i do this and it suddenly things move around and stuff and hank says, oh now it sounds like merciful fate you know and and that's been the case here too. And that uh, song was originally seven minutes and something, now it's uh, 8.54. So it's kind of nine minutes, but you don't really do that for a, try and come back with a single, right? I mean, it's, but we do. So very, very dynamic and all this stuff. And we got the pleasure, uh, I can't, can't say pleasure, but we got the opportunity to see a castle called Musam Castle in Austria. That's where what described on the Jagger of Salzburg uh, took place for real, where they had, uh, um, it was witch hunts, you know, in 1675 uh, uh, to 1690. They had much longer than that, but that was that specific case that we are talking about here, where 139 people got uh, killed, witches, you know, and but 109 of them were, were children between 10 and 14. Absolutely horrendous. And we were down there looking into the, the, the torture chamber. They have all the original stuff there still that they wow. used and all. It's absolutely a creepy place. And, uh, but we got the, the opportunity to go in and see it, and there was a couple of things I saw there that I had now have to put into the lyric to make it even more realistic, you know. And uh, there is an, a, a piece, uh, a small piece in there that is not finished yet. So you weren't kidding on stage before no, you no, played no, that? No, it no, no, no. I think I, I think I did pretty good today of hitting something. But sometimes I, I stop in the middle of that specific place because it's like, oh, okay, give it up, man. It's it because I just it's on the spot. Just sing something. And half of it's not English, you know. So mm -hmm. it's uh, but it's been interesting because there's there's come some things and we record everything, so we can always go back and hear. That was a bad middle line there. So that was a great middle line that one day there. So we can hear some of that and I can work from that. Uh, but it, it's coming along real well and we're continuing recording as soon as we get back here now. That's incredible. Hank and uh, Bjarne going in first to do. Uh, basic uh, tracks, drums and guitar. Now we know how we want to play and how we're playing it live, you know? And uh, I've already done uh, demo vocals for the entire song except for that one passage. Only with three vocals, so I just indicate a few places where there will be choirs, you know? Yeah. And, uh, so uh, it's pretty far, you know, but it still is missing something, you know? And 
now we're going to get it uh, done here and then hopefully you can get out to uh, yeah, soon. I mean, yes. Yeah. Well, it's, it's been incredible to see the Jackal of Salzburg in the live set. Of course, we're very excited about new fate music, but uh, history always has a way of being relevant. Next year is 40 years of Melissa. Oh, really? Uh, this, wow. is, this is crazy. Um, <laughs> it's, it's an album that, you know, a whole new generation of metal yeah, actors here. Uh, the back patches, mm -hmm. the tattoos, man. People still getting the lyrics tattooed on their arm oh, today, cool. right? I, I know. That's, uh, it's... You can't put words on that. It's impossible to describe to see that, because it's like I mean, when it happens, I don't think about it. Right. It's natural. It's like I don't really, I forget how old I am sometimes because it's I still feel good, you know, and uh, you train and, and do the stuff, you know, and uh, so you don't pay a lot of attention to it. But afterwards, we didn't talk about it. Like God, man, they're so like there's several generations. It's, it's and and it's, it's been there also with King Diamond when we toured 2019 and before that. There we saw actually parents with little kids on their shoulders, kids that maybe four or five that sang lyrics. That's and incredible. that's you're like, you've got to be kidding me, man. But it's so cool. I mean, it's amazing. Timeless, King. Timeless. It must be in some way. <laughs> uh, but And it's, it's, it's at least as fun. It's probably more fun now playing these old songs because it's... Um, our crew is amazing. I mean, we, we the, the lights, the sound guy, man, the, the guys that built the stuff for us, that set it up every night, all this stuff, you know. Also, who comes with a white set from Merciful Fate? Yes. It's like pretty uh, not right. This white marble. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to talk about this set, this production. It's it's over the top, including uh, your outfits. Of, uh, this, this, this clown, one, yeah. the, the one at the start as well. This production's amazing, man. Yeah, it's 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 taken a while, but it was a, a lot of crazy visions that now is well, it works. It works really well. Uh, it's a girl called Missy from LA that that did this here and the crown and the. the Rancid. Yeah, Rancid the, is heavy. I cannot wear it more than <laughs> almost two songs. It gets so hot when I take it. Uh, when I take it off, you're gonna see steam from my hair. That's it's, amazing. It's really bad. Well, it looks fucking evil. Though. It's it's really uh, cool, yeah. And um, these jackets actually, she uh, went to a museum and uh, had them open one of the mantras, and so she could uh, look at this coat with gloves on, an old uh, 17th century bishop's coat. And she got the, the what do you call it, the pattern yeah. out of it and threw it on, and that's just it. That's awesome. So that, that's like a copy of an old uh, bishop's uh, coat from the 17th century. So. That's very cool. And the, you know, see the, the buttons are special. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Know, it's what you have on the front of the old soul. Yes, I said custom top to bottom. Yeah, a lot of fun. Amazing. Um, I wanted to ask you about, I've always wanted to ask, the, the femur on stage with the mic stand. Do you have, and I know I've seen the skulls, the photos of you yeah, always with yeah, the skulls. Yeah. Do you have an extensive bone collection? Um, and then we did something else, you know, that was a totally different thing, and it was very interesting to do all that. I want, like, you have you have lots of bones, and I have a nice car, and uh, we can uh, do other things too. You know, we we fly a lot in Europe, and you know, it's great stuff. King, what can you say to everybody who missed this incredible ritual tonight? History here, first merciful fate show on U.S. soil in 23 years tell them yeah, this, this cannot be the last show we did uh, it, it's really going well and uh, we enjoy it so much you know so uh, we need to get out and about you know and uh, do stuff continue writing and uh, recording and also for King Diamond there's some things that um, God man if I start telling you about that you're gonna also uh, lose it but there's a production that is being designed and it's you have never seen that on a stage before I can guarantee you that the way the lights are going to be worked, the, the kind of environment the band has to learn to play in, uh, it's going to be something special, you know, and uh, I, I shouldn't, I'll tell you off microphone a funny thing that we're going to do on stage. I love that. Well, we can't wait for a new Merciful Fate record. We can't wait for a new King Diamond record. This is a very, very special moment for me. Thank you for giving me your time, King. That was a, true, that was a true ritual. I've waited a long time for that. Thank you so much, man. And thanks to all those that came and everybody else out there, man. It's, uh, it's been a trip and it's uh, beautiful, man. It's absolutely awesome. Daniel DK with King Diamond, Psycho Las Vegas 2022.